All right, everybody, welcome back. Ready for another deep dive. Always ready to dive in. This one's really going to make you think. Pythagoras. Ah, Pythagoras. Definitely a name everyone's heard, right? Exactly. Even if it's just for math class, everyone remembers the Pythagorean theorem. You know, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Right. But what most people don't realize is that there's so much more to Pythagoras than just that one famous theorem. Okay, so what are we talking about then? What's the deep dive today? Well, today we're going beyond the equation and looking at the man himself, the myths, the mysteries, and the impact this guy had on, well, everything. Sounds like we have our work cut out for us. Oh. So where do we even begin with a figure like Pythagoras? Let's start with what little we do know. He was born way back in the 6th century BC on the Greek island of Samos. Samos. Okay, so we're talking ancient Greece, not your average childhood, I'm guessing. Not even close. I mean, imagine a time when math, philosophy, and religion, they were all intertwined. There wasn't really a separation like we have today. So how does that make Pythagoras different? I mean, it sounds like a lot of thinkers back then were trying to understand these big concepts. You're right, but Pythagoras, he took it to a whole other level. He wasn't content just with observing the world. He wanted to unlock its secrets. And he believed the key to that was numbers. Numbers. Okay, so is that where the Pythagorean theorem comes in? It's part of it. See, the Pythagoreans, they were like this group, almost like a secret society, that believed numbers held a kind of mystical power. Ooh, a secret society. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, yeah. They had all these strict rules, rituals, even believed in reincarnation. But at the core of it all was this idea that mathematics could explain everything in the universe. Okay, I'm hooked. So what kind of secrets did they think numbers held? Well, music, for one, they saw a deep connection between musical harmony and mathematical ratios. They called it the music of the spheres. Hold on. Music of the spheres, as in, like, planets and stars making music. Precisely. They believed that the movement of celestial bodies created a kind of harmonious symphony. Pretty wild, right? That's more than wild. That's mind-blowing. So, did they have any proof for this music of the seers? Well, proof back then wasn't quite like what we think of today. But to them, the mathematical ratios they found in music, they saw those same ratios reflected in the natural world. To them, that was evidence of a kind of universal harmony orchestrated by numbers. So this wasn't just about triangles and squares for them. It was about understanding the very fabric of reality. You got it. And you know, this idea, as out there as it might seem to us, it actually had a huge influence on Western thought. Really? I mean, who were we talking about? Think Plato. He was heavily influenced by the Pythagoreans, this idea that numbers could unlock the secrets of the universe. That definitely resonated with his theory of forms. Even Aristotle, who had his own ideas about how the universe worked. You can still see traces of Pythagorean thinking in his work. Wow. So Pythagoras and his followers, they were onto something, even if it seems a little out there to us now. Absolutely. And you know, the thing about Pythagoras is he might not have written anything down himself. It's all been passed down through his followers and later scholars. So we're working with what, secondhand accounts? Whispers of whispers? Pretty much, but that's part of what makes him so fascinating. He's like this enigma, this legend shrouded in mystery. I've got to ask, if we could travel back in time and actually talk to Pythagoras, what do you think he'd say? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? But I'd like to think he'd urge us to keep looking, keep questioning, keep seeking those hidden connections in the world around us. Because you never know what you might discover. Exactly. After all, it's not every day a mathematician becomes a legend. And on that note, we're going to have to leave it there for today's deep dive on Pythagoras. Until next time. Don't forget, folks, keep exploring, keep questioning, and who knows? You might just drop it in the verse. Stoic mindset, let the lessons disperse. All cruelty springs from weakness, that's the start. In the face of strength, let compassion impart. Enjoy present pleasures with a foresight gaze. Balance the now, don't let the future waste. Yeah, he who is brave is free. The courage we find, the shackles of fear we leave behind. Seneca flow, virtue gain profound. Stoicism, deep wisdom all around. Uh, stoic vibes in every line. In the quotes of life, let the lessons shine. Don't suffer more than needed. Seneca declare. Face the storm when it comes, don't be scared. How does it help to be more? The strife in the rhythm of life. Don't seek out strife. 
It is not the man who has too little but craves True wealth and contentment, not what enslaves Yeah, let us say what we feel, let speech be true Harmonize with life and everything you do uh, Cynical flow, virtue game profound Stoicism, deep wisdom all around uh, Stoic vibes in every line In the quotes of life, let the lesson shine in the passage of time, find the fountain of youth. While we wait for life, life passes by. Seize the moment, spread your wings, let your spirit fly. Cynical flow, virtue gain profound Stoicism, deep wisdom all around uh, Stoic vibes in every line In the quotes of life, let the lesson shine Luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity Cynica dropping gems, unlocking unity yeah. The greatest blessings within us and within our reach Content with the lot, lessons of wisdom preach True happiness is to enjoy the present, so true Without anxious dependence, let the joy accrue Wherever there's a human being, be kind In the threads of compassion, unity bind Cynical flow, virtue gain profound Stoicism deep, wisdom all around uh, Stoic vibes, in every line In the quotes of life, let the lessons shine Cynical wisdom, echoes in the rhyme Stoic rap anthem, standing the test of time In the echoes of ancient philosophy Seneca's lessons God set your soul free. Yeah! It's time to get to work and show them all. Every time you fail, you have to understand deep down that you're getting trained, you're getting better, you're getting stronger, you're getting more resilient. You become tough because like you persevere and you continue to do something or you just really want something fucking bad because like no, everybody fails. Like every fucking champion, every like great fighter, or whatever. Like they all have failures. It's just you know some of them choose to use that as like drive to like you know continue to fucking train. You know at fucking eleven o'clock at night when everybody else is you know watching TV and you know some of them just kind of like chalk it up. It's like okay, well I'm just not tough enough and quit. You know so it's like you can go one of two directions, but I think your adversities are what give you that fuel to you know, become confident or become, you know, successful, whatever the fuck it is that you want to go after. Focus on intention, ignore distraction, use your mind differently. Look for, so if you're going to stop doing what poor people do, stop looking at the obstacle in every opportunity. And instead, do what rich people do. What do we do? We look for the opportunity in every obstacle. Because an obstacle, by its very nature, creates an opportunity. Why? Because the law of polarity is a law that governs, that's part of God's automation. So if there's something negative, there has to be something positive. Like, that's the other side of the coin. There is no wet without dry, there's no hot without cold, there's no up without down. There's no potential for gain if there's no potential for loss. There's no opportunity if there is no obstacle. What we do now echoes in eternity. No man was ever wise by chance. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest. Confucius. The person attempting to travel two roads at once will get nowhere. Never awaken a woman's love with no intention of loving her. You are awesome just the way you are, Nick Vujicic. Best in the world right now.
I said, what? He said, you're the best in the world right now. There's nobody as good as you in the world. You're the best right now. The only reason you're not the best right now is because you don't believe you're the best now. And when you walk out this room, I want you to go in the mirror and tell yourself, I'm the best right now. He said, before you even become number one, start to proclaim it and say it long before it happened. Say, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And when I was number 20, I started saying, I'm the number one motivational speaker in the world. And I went to the computer. And the world said exactly what I said, that Eric Thomas is number one in the world. I spoke it, the world heard it, and it activated. Your problem is that you don't believe you belong here. Your problem is that you don't think you should be sitting down here. So listen to me, there are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. That you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're concerned with your, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying. But those books are not in alignment with your value. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. When I believed that my voice was needed in this world, when I believed that I needed to be on the stage, not for myself, but to speak to a group of people who come from where I come from, a working class who don't know what it's like to make millions and millions of dollars, who don't understand what wealth looks like, that I needed to come in the room with a single parent mother, with a father not in my life, being homeless in a high school dropout. Only somebody who comes from where you come from can tell you you belong. And I had to get my butt on stage because there's some folks that Les Brown can't reach. There's some folks that Tony Robbins can't reach. Alexander of Macedon, and he that dressed his mules, when once dead, both came to one. For either they were both resumed into those original rational essences from whence all things in the world are propagated, or both after one fashion were scattered into atoms. Be at war with your vices, at peace with your neighbors, and let every new year find you a better man. Nothing is worth more than this day. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Theodore Roosevelt Surround yourself with people who talk about visions and ideas, not people. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. Be a lifelong student. The more you learn, the more you earn, and the more self-confidence you will have. Brian Tracy sheet of paper right put the paper up on the wall i want you to write it why because when you write it down and your eyes see it you can do it and listen to me i believe this with all my heart i literally flew from detroit to kansas today i flew guys watch this 200 years ago people said only birds could what come on i'm just being real 200 years ago they said only birds could fly no, no a human wasn't meant to fly now not only are we flying we watching tv <laughs> We watching TV in first class, they, they, they making meals, right? In some place you can lay down. I went to um, Dubai a few months ago and the, and, the, and the seat that I sat in, it was like a living room, a big old 30 something inch TV. They're bringing people steak and duck and all wine and all kinds of uh, sweets and snacks, everything. You can use your cell phone, imagine that. Say so they said we couldn't fly, now we texting while we flying. So no dream is too big? Come on, no dream is too big? Come on, no dream is too big? I can do it. I can have it. Come on, I can do it. I can have it. I can be it. It's only one person that's gonna stop you and that's you. I need you to understand that. It's only one person that's gonna stop you. All right, so what I said to the young man was, your dreams are not too big you got to make different decisions. 
Does that make sense? So I want to show y'all something real quick. Can I see the uh, book? I want to show y'all something. I know you, you guys at some point you're going to get the book, all right? At some point you're going to get the book, all right? Uh, the UOU book, right? At some point you're going to get it, all right? CJ and I said two years ago, please write this down. This is not even a part of my message, but write this down. Never let a good crisis go to waste. Write that down. Never let a good crisis go to waste. And so when if the things that produce the pleasures of profligate men really freed them from fears of the mind concerning celestial and atmospheric phenomena, the fear of death and the fear of pain, if further they taught them to limit their desires, we should never have any fault to find with such persons, for they would then be filled with pleasures from every source and would never have pain of body or mind, which is what is bad. Live your life as an exclamation rather than an explanation. The person who doesn't make mistakes doesn't make anything at all. The mind is everything. What you think you become. Buddha. A penny saved is a penny earned. When you stop chasing the wrong things, the right ones catch up. Because you are alive, everything is possible. Tishnat Han.